Shots fired, shots fired. Hey guys, Benzo here. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing a really fast, simple install of the LiDAR handheld radar gun by Opus 49 and Ben H6021. Uh, this video will be straight and fast and to the point like most people like it on YouTube. And also for the sake of the YouTube algorithm gods out there, please consider hitting the like button and comment below. And if you're brand new to the channel, think about subscribing. Let's go. As mentioned earlier, this video is going to go pretty fast on the install process of this particular mod. The good thing about YouTube is you can always press the stop button and rewind that part of the video. So we're going to pull up our main game directory. I'm sure you guys already knew how to get there. However, if you are confused, look to the top right of your video right now and you will see a three minute video on how to find your main game directory where your GT5 is located at. Now we already have the download on our desktop right now. I'll be sure to link the actual mod in the description down below as well as a pinned comment. This is by Opus49 and Ben H6021. Uh, you do need to have WinRAR or a 7-zip or a program like that to open this particular file. And if you're confused by that, just type in Google and type in WinRAR for free. We're going to open this up and you're going to see a LiDAR gun folder right there. We're going to open this up and you're going to see two folders, a Vintage Pistol Textures and a Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. We're going to go into the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder first and you're going to see a Plugins folder a Rage Native UI, and then an IPT.com. Uh, please note that Opus 49 will probably update this mod pretty regularly. However, if you want to make sure you have the Rage Native UI up to date, I'm going to leave a link for you in the description down below to make sure that you have the latest version of Rage Native UI, just in case you're watching this video about a year from now. And so we're going to pull this right into the main game directory into the blank space right here. All three items right there, plugins folder, Rage Native UI, IPT.com. It's going to go right into here. It's going to ask to override a few things. I'll go ahead and say yes to that and replace. Okay, the LiDAR gun is installed properly. And what we want to do next is go into the plugins folder that's inside your main game directory. We're going to pull that up. You're going to see another folder called LSPDFR in upper caps. We're going to pull that up and you're going to see a LiDAR gun folder. You're going to see a LiDAR gun.dll and a LiDAR gun config file. Now this is a INI file. Uh, some people get confused because their view settings on the folder itself, uh, you may have this set to off, but if you click on the file name extensions, you're gonna see the INI file right there. So I like to have mine off personally, but uh, that's up to you on that. It should open in Notepad or WordPad. We're gonna double click this uh, config file, and then you're gonna have a Notepad or a WordPad that looks similar to this. This is the LiDAR key menu that's inside the game. It is set by default to NumPad 7. And then the window key, that's the actual car window inside the game, is set to the period key on your keyboard as well. Uh, so that is up to you if you want to change these key binds. Uh, totally up to you. The hold interval key has to do with uh, the actual menu key inside the game of how long it's a key press. So. 500 is in milliseconds, so it's about a half a second key press, so that way you don't accidentally hit the menu system in game. The X and Y coordinates is where your actual radar is going to be positioned on the screen. I would leave these alone by default. You can always position this inside the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, the volume settings, I'll leave all these things alone. Scale. The head color at zero is green. One would be red. I would leave all this alone, to be honest with you, because you can always change this uh, inside the game but the weapon is gonna be the Vintage Pistol, which is what we're gonna be installing next. Okay, if you made any changes to the config file, like your keybinds, make sure that you come up here and go to save, and then we can go ahead and exit out of the config file. Uh, one quick little thing I was gonna show you real fast is that there is a folder up here at the top called LiDAR Gun. If you open this up, you're gonna see an audio folder and a texture folder. If you look at the texture file, something kind of cool I'm gonna show you real fast. If you open this up, so if you go to frame, this is a texture, uh, that is uh, in the game, which is pretty cool. Now you can, if you're really savvy with Photoshop, it's a PNG file. So you could probably add your logo in here, it would be kind of cool. I did that before with the Prowler Radar. Uh, it's kind of fun to do that. You don't have to do that, but it's just something kind of cool. But if you see another texture out there, uh, you can probably recreate this to maybe make it a different radar. So just a little uh, pro tip right there. Just make sure it's called frame and it is a PNG file. 
Okay, the next step we're gonna do is install the Vintage Pistol Textures. It's gonna be in that RAR file over to the right. So what we wanna do is go to the main game directory. I'm gonna show you something really fast. Uh, make sure you back up a little bit and get to your main game directory. This is where your GT5 is located at right there. So up here, uh, you're, you're gonna see, you should have a mods folder, okay? If you don't have a mods folder, you need to make sure you create a mods folder. You know, just right click, go to new, go to folder, and then just, uh, you know, call it mods, M-O-D-S. Now, one little thing I was gonna point out, you don't have to do this. You may have already done it, but this is what I like to do personally, because I have enough disk space to do what I'm about to show you, is I copied over my update folder uh, right here into the mods folder. So if you look real fast, I've got an update folder. You may not have these other files, don't worry about it, but this is what's gonna allow me to see all the patch days, what I'm about to show you, because I already see the comments down in the YouTube channel is they're gonna say, I don't see the certain patch days, but this is how I get my patch days into the mods folder by copying over a right click, go to copy and go back into the mods folder. If it's blank, you're gonna right click, you're gonna paste which brings me to open four. So we're going to be installing the vintage pistol textures and we're gonna open up open four uh, into our applications real fast. If you're not sure about open four on how to install it, I did a uh, about a five minute install tutorial on open four on how to get this into your game. It's a pretty uh, awesome program to replace textures, sirens, vehicles, things like that into Grand Theft Auto V. Make sure you have your ASI managers installed. The best way to check is to go to tools, the very top of the menu, go to ASI manager, and you wanna make sure that all three files are installed. If they're in blue, then make sure you click on the install and then close. So you should see a mods folder right there. And like I said, you've already should have created that, which I just showed you. And then you're gonna see the vintage pistol textures uh, folder right here inside the LiDAR gun RAR file. We're gonna open this up. Now it has several uh, texture files here and you're gonna see a README. So if you open this up, yeah, we're gonna see a README on where the pathway is. So it's pretty simple. We're gonna bring this right down here, right about here so that way we can see the pathway easy. And then I do believe the model for the radar gun is by Scaris, if that's how you pronounce his name. So we're gonna be installing it into this pathway right here. Look at this guys. Now it looks like a long pathway and it, it is, but I'm gonna show you how to get there pretty easy. So we're gonna follow this pathway. That's all uh, open for is all about pathways. So we're gonna to go to mods folder first. We're gonna to go to update, times 64. We're gonna to go to DLC packs. And once again, the my update folder is already there. So that's why I see all these patch days. We're gonna to go to patch day eight, ng, dlc.rpf, times 64, models, CD images, and then weapons.rpf. So this is a long pathway. So if you have something else that you need to install or, or maybe uh, if you need to get back to this pathway, you can go to favorites, go to add to favorites, and then you can call it, you know, like weaponsart.rpf is a pretty good one. Uh, that way it'll remind you where to go. Uh, if you wanna rename that you can, then just go to add right there. Okay, we're gonna drag and drop these textures into open four. Now, if you try to do it now, you're gonna get a circle, you know, like a red circle or a black circle. You're not gonna be able to do that because we need to turn edit mode on. So we're gonna go at the top of the, the actual open four. We're gonna turn edit mode on. Make sure you click on yes. So edit mode needs to be on. We're gonna highlight every one of these files. We're gonna do left control, left mouse click, and then uncheck the readme. If you install it, it's not gonna hurt anything but I don't like to install readme's into open four. So we're gonna drag these right into open four and we're gonna let it fall. Okay, the texture files are installed properly. And if you wanna see what the texture looks like in open four in a uh, model view, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you real fast. The, uh, you know, the W underscore PI vintage. If you scroll down a little bit on open four until you get there, it's gonna take a while to scroll down here, but you'll see it right here. It says W underscore PI underscore vintage pistol. Is so if you double click this, and as long as edit mode is on, you can see what it looks like in game. So now let's go into the game. I'm gonna show you the menu system and the functionality of this particular radar gun. Okay guys, here we are inside the game. I'm gonna show you how the radar works and how the menu system works. It's a pretty fun mod. I did a showcase on this just the other day. 
if you want to see even more functionality and fun things you can do with this particular radar mod. But we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, today's demonstration. Now there's one important pro tip here I got to tell you is that if you have Stop the Ped installed, which most of us probably will, it uses a thing called a realistic weapon system for your character for LSPDFR. And what I mean by that is uh, you, if you press your tab key, it only has certain things like it has a pistol, stun gun, you know, like a flashlight, these kinds of things, right? So even if I was to try to equip the vintage pistol, which is what we just replaced, right? So if you have a trainer, and I use simple trainer, by the way, if you go to weapons, it's highlighted in green there. And then you go to vintage pistol, uh, it's highlighted in green right, right there. If you go to uh, vintage pistol, look to the bottom right hand of my character on the screen right now. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Watch what happens real fast. And see, it takes it away. So notice it said vintage pistol added, but then it takes it away. So the biggest problem with that is that the stop the bed uses realistic weapon system. So what we have to do is take that off or you can actually disable it in game, which is pretty cool. Now you can also go into the stop the ped INI config file, if you know what you're doing, uh, scroll down until you see the realistic weapon system on that particular config. And you can actually disable the realistic weapon system to be loaded into the game whenever you're going on duty, for example. So you can permanently do it there or you can do it in game. So the way you do it in game is pull up your, your G key by default, your stop the pad menu, go down to where it says disable realistic weapon system, and then you're going to press your enter key and that will take that away. Now the trick is you gotta go back into your, your uh, trainer to actually equip that vintage pistol again. So when you add it, this time it'll be permanent and it'll be in your hands whenever you're shooting radar. So that's one important pro tip. And now the default key uh, for the actual LiDAR key for the menu is the number pad seven key, unless you changed your key bind. So we're gonna pull that up real fast. So you can use your mouse key and you can do, you can change things. The, the hold interval key has to do with how long you hold that key before the menu pops up. So it's 500, that's probably a millisecond is what I'm thinking. So 500 milliseconds is half a second. Uh, that way you don't accidentally press the key and then pull up the menu, which I, I think is brilliant, by the way. I wish more modders would do this, the way we don't accidentally hit keys, right? So uh, my advice is probably leave that at 500. Uh, the, you can actually change the uh, X coordinates. You can move it around your actual screen. You can do the Y coordinates. And then you can change the scale, bigger or smaller. And then the volume has to do with the beeps. I personally like three. The metric system for the United States, you're gonna leave it as false for miles per hour. If you are in kilometers, make sure you change that to true. HUD color is zero is green, one is red. So the HUD color has to do with this right here. So I'm gonna exit out of that just for a second. So I'm gonna pull up my radar and then uh, we're gonna talk about that in just a moment, but you can see the HUD colors right here. We'll talk about these in just a moment, how to get to this. Oh, that's green. We're gonna go back into here real fast. We change it to red. I'll show you how to do what I just did in just a second. There's the red right, right there. Okay, we're gonna go back into the menu. I kinda like the green. So enable blips, that has to do with whatever uh, car you ding with your radar will uh, create a blip on your mini map. So uh, we have that as true. And then if you look real fast, if you look at the, the actual mi the mini map, we'll tag that one there. And you can tag them coming or going. So it's pretty cool. We'll do another one there, another one there. And you can see in the mini map it changes. It'll be on there for a long period of time until you can uh, chase down the actual suspect and write them a ticket, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna go back into the menu system real fast. The log level, I would leave it as zero. So next is we're gonna go down here and then this is the config file, which is pretty cool. We're gonna press the save key right there. Press the save key and it will actually save it to your INI config file, which is what we were showing you earlier in the video. And so that way you don't have to go out of the video, out of the game, you know, make changes and reload things, go back into the game. It's a big mess. Every time you load into the game, every, all the settings will be the same. Okay, let me show you how the radar works. Pretty fun to work with. We're gonna go inside a car, for example. Now you'll notice that it has a window right there next to me, obviously. Uh, now, if you try to shoot radar right now, it'll smash the window out. So what Opus 49 has done is created a window key where you can roll the window down 
using this particular mod. And it's going to be a hard press key, which means that you got to hold the, the key down for about a half a second. That's that hold interval I was just showing you in the menu a second ago. And so we're going to actually press the OEM period key, which is just your period key on your keyboard. Uh, we're going to hard press that and hold it down for half a second uh, to get that window down. So in order to roll it back up, you're going to press the button one time and it'll roll it right back. So once again, hold it down for half a second and it'll roll it down. And like I said, if you don't do that, you'll smash your window out. So make sure that you do that. And uh, Opus 49 has done that for us. So that way you don't keep smashing the windows out because he thinks of everything when he, when he does this mod. So it's pretty easy on mouse and keyboard. Uh, you literally just right click. It'll pull up the actual... <laughs> so if you hear people kind of yelling at you, if you're too close to the roadway, uh, you got to remember, this is just a model replacement. Uh, for you know the vintage pistol so sometimes you will have people yell at you because they think you're pointing a weapon at them you know for example <laughs> did you hear that so uh, just be aware of that if you want to avoid that uh, you want to probably be a little bit away from traffic so that people you know like right there he doesn't see the weapon but uh, GTA 5 doesn't know better so it thinks that I'm pointing a vintage pistol at them so just kind of be aware of that so it's once again, it's right, uh, right click and then you left click. A uh, pretty easy concept to grasp there. Uh, to zoom in with this particular uh, you know mod while you're in the vehicle, uh, you have to press your shift key. So if you press your shift key, uh, it'll start zooming in, and then you use your W. Uh, I'm sorry, you press your shift key again. Uh, you can zoom in if you want, and then you left click. That's how you zoom in. Left control will zoom out. So once again, left control zooms out, left shift will zoom in. Okay, you got that? And then you can tag people way down there. I think my record is 1,282 feet uh, on the showcase, which is pretty cool. So there's that. If you're on foot, uh, it's, it's also pretty easy uh, you know, to start shooting radar as well. I'm gonna press my tap key, and then I'm gonna press my W key if you're on foot. And then you press your W key or S key to zoom in and out. So uh, if you're inside the vehicle, if you're using a controller, okay, it's gonna be the uh, left uh, upper uh, button uh, on your controller. So uh, you just press your left button on the top left button on the controller, and then you press your right trigger to start tagging vehicles. Uh, I'm sorry, the right, probably the right upper button would be better. And that way you don't accidentally start gassing it. Just like that. And then to zoom in with the controller, it's the uh, left analog stick, and you can start zooming in like this. And then zoom out, you know, just pull it back on the, on the actual analog stick. Pretty cool. And if you're on foot, uh, you can actually uh, do this pretty easy. It's the uh, left button again. I'm sorry, it's the uh, uh, left, uh, left trigger, my bad. So left trigger on the controller when you're out of the vehicle. And then you can zoom in, you know, with the analog stick and then zoom out with the analog stick, uh, right button or right trigger rather to tag vehicles. Pretty self-explanatory works like the any weapon system pretty much. But anyway, guys, this will go ahead and wrap up today's video tutorial on how to install the LiDAR gun into your game. And I hope you got some use out of this. If you did anything in the slightest, if I taught you anything, uh, make sure that you do hit the like button, comment down below, and then maybe share the video out. That would help the YouTube channel grow a little bit and subscribe if you're new. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe.